y'all is Hope at Crafty Hope and I am working again in my small junk journal. This page is one of the ones that were completed before ICAD but I'm going back and trying to get caught up on all of those and hoping I can remember what it is I did on these pages. This one's super simple. You can see I've got a, I had actually picked out a focal before I started on this one and it's a little cutting from the back of a calendar that says happiness blooms from within and in the background of that there's kind of some some roses with green and peachy pinks and all of that in there so I'm starting with a um, let's see that's some ledger paper it's some green tone ledger paper and trying to tear it down to about the size I need the page I'm working on in this junk journal is like half of a three by five index card I think it might be a it might be a bit bigger, it might be one of the four by sixes instead, but it's still just half of an index card there, and it's not a huge amount of space. And I'm just gluing down. I put glue on both sides of the index card and the ledger paper, I guess, to just doubly make sure it sticks so it wouldn't be too, too fiddly. And then I'm going to trim it down. Sometimes I like to keep all of that, um, the torn pages visible there, but I decided to go ahead and just tear this down, not tear it down, cut it down to size so that it's, I don't know. I knew that this was going to be fairly kind of a structured page and less free form. Now here is a Dilutions, it's a little stencil there, and it's been on my side of my desk for the last two videos, so I guess I finally decided to break it out and use it. And then I've got some Master's Touch paint, and that uh, is like a flesh tone, like a peachy paint, well not even a pink, but a fleshy peach, that I'm taking a cosmetic sponge, and I'm just going to stencil that. Now the, in this one, it's kind of a teardrop shape, but I've got the points going down instead of up, so that um, it's not exactly, you know, like a raindrop teardrop shape. And I'm just stenciling that over the entire page. Sometimes, you know, I'll just do a section of page, but for this one, I decided just to cover the whole one because um, it kept it very... Um, symmetrical I guess so and then I'm going to dry it real quick I think that's what I'm fixing to do I'm, well I'm cleaning up where the I had some spillage I guess and throughout this whole video I play with the placement I pick up that little slip and I move it around and it doesn't really matter all of this is so symmetrical <laughs> now here are some watercolor pencils both Reeves and I think uh, Derwent ink tints and I pull out a couple I think two different greens kind of limey light greens and then a black watercolor pencil and I'm just gonna oh and then I got a gelato and more of a salmon pink which is kind of the color that's one of the colors that's in the background of that calendar page and I think with this, I was really trying to use up some of the things that were in my stash that I, I collect so many little things, you know, pieces from calendars and book pages and all kinds of stuff. And sometimes I just go and I pick out a focal and I'm like, this is what I'm going to work with. And sometimes I don't know where I'm going. So I am going around each of these teardrops with one of the watercolor pencils, either one of the greens or the black. And let me say that really you only see the greens in this it gives kind of a glow on the outside of these little teardrop shapes and then I'm highlighting them with a, a water brush this is I think the Ranger Tim Holtz water brush I love using a water brush because I always get you know clean ink from it and to to kind of make sure that I didn't get too much bleeding of color I did the greens first on here and then I did the blacks that I had highlighted and it's just you see there's no pattern to it I just kind of went all over the place and then I took that gelato and it is a metallic gelato so it's kind of a little bit different but I put it on my nonstick craft sheet and I'm working from it with the water brush like it's a, a watercolor and I'm just adding a little bit of that more salmon color into some of those teardrops not all of them just enough to bring that color into the background like it's in the um in my little focal picture so I'm gonna get that in there and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try it real quick am I no maybe not and you see here I am playing again with the placement of that of that focus 
ankle. I don't even know why. It doesn't, it doesn't, that's not where it ends up. So there's my, my absolute favorite everyday pen is a Pilot V5. I've got it in, I don't know, a gazillion color. <laughs> not a gazillion, but you know, like six colors at least. And I'm, I really like the fine or the extra fine tip of that. And I'm going around every single one of these teardrops with that pilot. Now, since I put the gelato down, some of that gets kind of gooky. So I am kind of writing off on the side to get that, I don't know, it's kind of a waxiness off of my pen. And I sped this up just a smidge because, you know, you don't want to watch me all day circle, circle te teardrops. So the next thing I grab is my Posca paint pen in white and it took me a minute to get started and then I'm adding just a dot inside each of those teardrops, just the fattest point, uh, not point, the fattest part of each of them, um, kind of in the center top of, of, of each of them, just to add a little something of interest into these. It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't add a whole lot, but it was, it was a, little, a little more interesting that way. So, and now I'm going to dry again just to make sure that that Posca dots are dry. And I'm going to take my Uhu glue stick again. And in there you can see the calendar portion of that, <laughs> of that sample calendar thing. And I'm going to glue it down um, eventually <laughs> once I play with it a little bit more. So I get it down and once it is down and glued, I'm going to grab a Sharpie pen, just a like a felt tip Sharpie pen and go around. And I guess I could have used my other pen. I don't know why I used the Sharpie instead. I guess it was just, I don't know, right there. So I'm going around the outside of of that focal that I think I said it says happiness blooms from within and I really like that sentiment and I decided that didn't give it enough it didn't pop it off the page enough so I've got an what is it Faber Castell pit pen in black that I am giving it just a bit of a thicker line to give it a bit more shadow and then you see I'm kind of using my finger to rub it to push back the color a little bit make it a little more gray and here I look at it and I decide it's still, it's a little too bright, too standing up from that. So I take that Posca paint pen again in white and just add dots within that shadow. And that just helps push it back and make it not so, so stark black right there. And then I'm going to take that pit pen again and go around the outside of the page itself to frame the whole page. And then after that, this page is done, y'all. I, um... I'm glad I got to use one of those little calendar pieces. I, I cut them out all the time. I'm constantly looking at the Dollar Tree for neat calendars and then cutting out the little the cool pictures. So I'm glad I actually used one. So anyway, if y'all have any questions about this process or the materials or anything, please don't hesitate to comment and give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.